Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Thursday, May 2nd. Yes, it is May, you guys. We have made it to May. And I'm super happy about it just because it's May. <laughs> I don't know, I don't really have any other reason. Um, well, other than my birthday month, but anyway. Um, so yeah, this is a general energy reading. Please take what, resonate, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you'd like a look into your own personal situation, don't hesitate to hit me up. My email is in the description box below. Uh, before we get started, first and foremost, we will be doing happy hour tonight. Yes, I was supposed to do it last night, but then um, somebody got really sick and needed coverage. And so I jumped in there and I did that instead. It was super last minute. If you saw my story on uh, YouTube here, then you would have seen, you would have heard of that. Um, yes, so happy hour is happening tonight. Um, I am, the floor is officially open. As of the moment that you are watching this video, the floor is open. So if you would like to get yourself a single question reading at a discounted price, of $20, then you are more than welcome to send payment to my PayPal account. There is a link um, to my PayPal account on my homepage here on YouTube, or you can just use my email address, which is in the description box below, to send payment. If you do want to uh, book a reading in advance for happy hour tonight, please make sure to put your question in the notes section of your payment there on PayPal. <clears throat> I do have uh, one already, so there are nine spaces available as of 6.20 in the morning, <laughs> which is when I'm recording this. So whenever you guys are watching it, just keep that in mind. Um, mum, 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 mum. Yeah, I think that's, actually, I think that's it. Yes. Okay, guys. So, without further ado, let's just get into the, the messages for today. Oh, well, okay. Well, then also there's the spiel about um, time is an, an illusion. Energies are fluid. These messages are timeless. Whenever you are called to watch it, and it, it, that is most likely when it is right for you and all that good stuff. Yes? Okay, great. <laughs> Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Thursday, May 2nd, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, I'm just going to get some shuffles in here. Um, now, I did a little bit of a pre-shuffle. And the Moonchild card came out. Um, and I mean, this is the Moonchild card is one of the unique cards in this deck. I used the Moonchild Tarot for these readings. Here's the box if you it's this one, the Moonchild Tarot. It's a gorgeous deck. But um, the Moon Child card came out, which speaks of moon cycles. Yes, and we do have a new moon this Saturday on uh, May 4th. And I, I believe it's in Taurus. And with that, the King of Cups came out. Um, this really could talk about... Um, for some of you, this could talk about the cycles that you're going through that are leading to emotional mastery. Um, I heard mastership, so um, mastery of some sort of emotion, maybe some sort of creative ability, taking some sort of action in terms of your emotions, uh, reaching a new sense of emotional maturity. It really could even just symbolize the cycles that you go through to help you develop greater emotional maturity and greater responsibility for your actions and where you find yourself in life. Um, 
so pay attention to that. Uh, I, I, I most likely, I can, now that I think about it, I'll probably do a new moon reading as our weekend edition tomorrow. Um, but we'll see if anything comes out today for that. But I did want to share that. This also could talk about, because uh, new moons are the perfect time or the time to set intentions towards manifestation. Whereas full moons are moments where you can work on releasing, clearing space, clearing energy, clearing things out of your life, your energetic space, your physical space, that kind of thing, whatnot, whatever. So this could mean, this could symbolize um, the cycles that you're going through or the speak to the man the, the 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 manifestation that you could be taking advantage of i'm not saying that correctly my grammar is off but uh, what you could do what you are doing to manifest <clears throat> some sort of loving masculine male figure into your life okay all right i'm gonna give this one more shuffle and then we'll see what we've got for today, Monday, May 2nd, May 2nd, 2019. Here we go, kids. All right, best message, please, spirit, for today, Monday, May 2nd. Best message, that was interesting. Oof, oof, oof. Okay. Oh. Oh, all right. Underneath the deck, oof. Okay, we have the three of swords here. Is an over is the overall energy. The three of swords. My my, that's interesting. All right, all right, all right. Hmm. Okay. So you remember that card that came flying out and flipped around? Yeah, that was this Ace of Cups. This Ace of Cups here is in reverse. All right. Well, it looks like there's some sort of heartbreak here, obviously, with the Three of Swords. Hmm. <laughs> you know what this feels like? This feels like somebody's been let down. Now, this might be a little, no. I, I don't, I can't really tell where exactly the situation is. Because what you have here, you have the Ten of Cups, the High Priestess, and the Ace of Cups, but the Ace of Cups is in reverse, okay? So to me, this is, this is saying that, um, especially with this Four of Cups here, there's some sort of unrequited love, missed opportunity. Okay, all right. There's some, some sort of unrequited love here, potentially, right? But, it's not the end of the situation because you still have the Ten of Cups here. And what the Ten of Cups with the High Priestess is saying to me is that the, the, the manifestation of your emotional fulfillment, um, some sort of relationship, a marriage, a family, or something like that, it's coming, but it's hidden with the High Priestess here. And what made me laugh while I was trying to explain what I was feel, picking up on here was spirit had quickly and very strongly said a second chance is coming. Okay, so don't freak out. If something, may, if you've been connecting with someone recently and things don't seem to be going the way you want or the way you had hoped, um, a second chance is coming. This could be with the same person. It could also mean that you are still in the process of aligning with 
this here, the Ten of Cups, right? With the High Priestess, though, she's not, there are secrets. There are secrets. And I don't want people to think that this is like deception or, well, it is kind of deceptive, but this is not Seven of Swords energy. We'll see if the Seven of Swords comes out when we clarify. It, 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 it might, and, but see, even then, I wouldn't want to make anybody paranoid. I would want to caution people to like fall back a little bit because it doesn't mean somebody's cheating on you. It doesn't mean someone has some deep, dark, terrible secret. Something is hidden. Something is not being revealed right now. And it could very well be that what's hidden is somebody here does actually have feelings, does actually want to um, make some sort of, sort of offer or show some sort of love or something like that. They are either just not ready right now or they're not do well they're not doing it so for whatever reason maybe they're just not ready most likely i mean i can't even think of anything else to say to, to clarify that other than if they're not doing it right now then they're probably just not ready to do so um now getting to the second row here you have the eight of wands the four of cups and the nine of, I'm sorry, the knight of wands. There's some sort of hastiness here, yes. Um, some sort of strong passion, okay. Um, but the knight of wands energy will burn out. You can burn out quickly. And it's not because the knight of wands doesn't necessarily have stamina. The knight does have some a bit of stamina, but he tends to burn so hard and so fast that if you don't, um, if you don't care for the fire, we'll say, if you allow it to just, it's almost like I'm almost I'm picking up an uh, like a the analogy I'm getting is like you just throw all of your. Um, all the, the, the fuel for your fire, you just throw it all on at once. And then it burns out like that. And then you're left with nothing. And so it goes away. Instead, what you would want to do is pace yourself. And I think that's, I really think that's what this is saying. <coughs> Excuse me. You have the Four of Cups, which can talk about unrequited love. It can talk about boredom. Um, in this deck, however, you see this, it's depicted as this person is like meditating in all of these cups, in, you know, in a balanced state with all of these cups. There's foundation here, okay? Four is a number of foundation and stability. So in this deck, this card often makes me think of needing emotional balance, finding or gaining emotional balance, having emotional balance. Um, sitting with your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions, getting in touch with them, getting in tune with them. There might be a situation in which um, maybe you're being triggered by this person. Three of Swords can represent being triggered by something. Um, in the sense that, you know, it's bringing up past trauma, it's kind of heartbreaking, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. The Three of Swords doesn't always have to be just about a love situation or like a breakup or something like that. It can be anything that really hurts you, really damages you, um, or like could potentially damage you, something that's heartbreaking, whatever. Um, What I think the Eight of Wands, Four of Cups, and Knight of Wands is saying the most is that in this situation here, there are triggers to be learned from. There is communication that is needed with the Eight of Wands. Communication is either needed um, or is open, like the lines are open to communication. Maybe you two need to spend time getting to know each other better spend more time getting to know each other. But also, this is a moment where you or they or whatever, if someone's getting triggered here, you have a moment 
to release your fears and apprehensions and balance your emotions. I heard balance your ego also. Um, this Knight of Wands energy can represent ego. Hmm. But I do kind of want to say that everything is quickly approaching. You know, what this really feels like is um, preparation steps towards some sort of union, marriage, maybe, whatnot, whatever. And that's what the High Priestess is kind of saying here. It's representing um, higher wisdom and knowledge and understanding that you're using, that you're integrating into your life. So whether this is a romantic relationship or some sort of creative project, something that you're very um, emotionally tied to, emotionally invested in, whatever, there, there are many learning opportunities. So what I want to say with the Four of Cups energy is instead of being all woe is me and like giving, kicking, the, kicking the bucket, <laughs> Obviously, you're not killing yourselves over this. I hope not, at least. But, like, um, you know, getting into some sort of victim mentality, getting fed up and giving up, throwing in the towel, whatnot, whatever. Use the opportunity to learn the lessons. If something is triggering you, figure out why something is triggering you. Because it's really not about the other person and they're doing something wrong and how dare they, blah, blah, blah. No. If you're being triggered by something or someone, you have to take that moment to go within and be like, okay, what is this teaching me here? What is this showing me here? What do I still need to heal? What do I still need to learn? Yes? I feel it, I almost feel like the high priestess is here helping you get over a, like a hurdle, a roadblock, or like maybe even a checkpoint to see how far you've really come, how much healing you've really done, how much healing needs still needs to be done, and you know, and all that good stuff. Like how much have you really learned in your journey so far? It's a checkpoint, yeah? That's kind of what it feels like. Now also, she is saying not to lose sight of your passion. Again, don't let yourself burn out on this situation. All right. Don't throw all of your fuel into the fire all at once and expect it to just continue to burn. Like, pace yourself, okay? Interesting. Also, with this Eight of Wands energy, yes, I'm seeing communication, but I'm also seeing time, even though time is an illusion. Um, I'm seeing gaps or space in between interaction. Space for people to grow, to breathe, to learn, to uh, focus on other things, to focus on other elements of their lives, this, that, what other, another. <clears throat> yeah. Alrighty. So now we're going to get into the clarification section. And I'm using the Crystal Visions deck for this today. And, um, what I really want to do is just clarify by row. Because they're telling they're they're telling the story, but they're these are two parts of the story. Okay. All right, just some clarity for us, please, spirit, for Thursday, May 2nd. One last shuffle here. Here we go. So we're going to start with the top row here. Ten of Cups, the High Priestess, the Ace of Cups in reverse. I do feel like there's still love here. You may be the one that still has the love. Or it may be the other person that has it. I am hearing unrequited love. And it could just be that it's unreciprocated. Like, it could be that someone just isn't expressing it, obviously, with the Ace of Cups in reverse. 
or it's just that it's not there. But it's okay because you still have this Ten of Cups with the High Priestess. It's like it's still you're still working your way there. It maybe it's just not coming through the source that you thought it would be. But let's see. Ten of Cups, High Priestess, Ace of Cups in reverse. Just some clarity, please, Spirit. What is Wow, the Four of Cups again with the star. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, the Ten of Cups is underneath the deck here, guys. Holy moly. Okay, if you're in a situation right now in which someone maybe is ignoring you or maybe you are ignoring them, uh, this is a general energy, so take it as it resonates, but like someone's ignoring you or, or there's some sort of unrequited love here, um, don't worry about it. The star is on your side. Uh, this is the star is wish fulfillment. This is the ultimate wish fulfillment. Um, you also, if you're in a place of boredom, it's like there's going to be some sort of reignition, reigniting of the situation. Now, in this deck. The Four of Cups is, this woman is focused on that ace, not the three cups behind her. And oftentimes, like in traditional decks, the person, the figure in this card is focused on the three cups and not the ace. <clears throat> um, this is so interesting. You could even see this as the Three of Cups the official Three of Cups card is a cup of celebration, is a cup of social environments, um, and all that good stuff. It could mean third parties. Mm. Sorry, guys. Um, but what I'm seeing in this card is instead of being focused on the social aspect of things, on maybe what everybody has to say, on your peers, on your friends, on your image, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever, you're focused on that Ace of Cups. So either that could be you're focused on loving yourself or you're focused on this love that you have for someone else and the Three of Cups situation behind you has no weight or it has no weight on the situation. Now this could be you, this could be the other person, vice versa, who knows. I wanna clarify that a little bit more and so with the star here and that four, the Four of Cups in that way, in the sense that someone is focusing on the Ace of Cups, their love for themselves or the love and affection that they have for another person, the star is saying that this wish fulfillment is gonna come through. And then you have the Ten of Cups again underneath this. So really, I what I want to have to I want, where I want you guys to focus your energy instead of this one person potentially just focus on what you want focus ultimately on the ten of cups energy because I feel like your focus on that ten of cups energy could have been what helped you get to this point to begin with in fact in the in terms that you know there's someone that's piquing your interest or whatnot whatever Even if this is not a romantic relationship, if this is some sort of creative endeavor or something like that, it's your focus on the the overall goal, the energetic vibration, the the the, the resonance with what it is you truly want, and, and and letting go of the attachments or the specificity, and just allowing the universe to align things for you. Focus more on that. Dreams are coming true. Wishes are being granted here. Okay. Okay, I do want to clarify this Four of Cups a little bit more, and then we're going to get down to the second row here. So just one card, please, Spirit, to clarify this Four of Cups. Please, just clarify this. The Knight of Cups. Look at that. See? Okay. And then, but see, underneath that is the Nine of Swords. All right, so they're not really going to give us all that much of... I mean, it... Well, they are giving us actually, but so uh, this is actually kind of what I was saying. Um, it's almost as if the offer or the something is going to come through. It may not be what you expected, 
is what they were saying. But also, there's anxiety around that. Nine of Swords. Now, this could be your anxiety in terms of why isn't this happening? I thought we had something, blah, blah, blah. Is this gonna happen? Is this gonna materialize? Or it could be, I mean, you could say or. I kinda wanna say and, but Spirit is saying, but it's or, okay. Or this could be the anxiety of someone else. This could be this absolutely, yes, okay, this makes perfect sense. This Nine of Swords energy, the anxiety, the sleepless nights, whatnot, whatever, restlessness, definitely restlessness, could be because this person wants to make an offer, wants to come forward, blah, 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 but is kind of ignoring the situation is not doing it because they're afraid to. There's some sort of anxiety surrounding it. Okay. Yes, that makes perfect sense. Okay, so moving on, we have the Eight of Wands, Four of Cups, Knight of Wands. <laughs> so originally what I was saying with this section here is that um, you know, communication could is needed or is lines are open for communication, um, gaining some sort of men, uh, uh, emotional balance, getting in tune with your emotions, getting in touch with your emotions, working on dealing with your triggers instead of instead of projecting and blaming someone else for how they're triggering you. Instead, look at what is being triggered and what needs to be healed because of it like what are you learning through the appearance of this trigger okay but let's get some clarif clarification here between the eight of wands four of cups knight of wands please spirit the chariot see yeah oh 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 boy all right whoa okay we have the three of pentacles which is underneath the deck. So this is entrepreneurship, teamwork. This could be, maybe there's a situation with a job. Um, whew. Okay, I like that. I like that, I like that, I like that a lot. Okay, so Eight of Wands has the Ten of Swords in reverse on it, okay? Um, getting over some sort of heartbreak. Um, okay, so the Ten of Swords right now is feeling like an energy that you're releasing. You're coming, you're moving away from, is what Spirit is saying, especially with the Eight of Wands. You might be moving away from it very, very quickly. Um, in terms of the triggers that might you might be experiencing here, they, it, it, they're they're similar. I mean, they're new in expression right now, but they're, they're things that are familiar to you, okay? And this new round of, we'll call it re-triggering in this instance or in this situation, um, you're getting over it very quickly because you're able to see it for what it is. You're possibly even able to relate it to the past where you were being triggered or consciously triggered by it for the first time and it was extremely difficult to deal with. You didn't know what was going on. You were kind of almost losing your mind surrounding the situation. Now it's resurfacing, but like I said, with this high priestess up here, it's a checkpoint. It's a, pl it's a time for you to really go through the situation and see what it is you learned about it and work on handling it slightly differently, if not radically different, differently than you have in the past, okay? And so you have the Ten of Swords in reverse. So where in the past, the situation had come to an end and the worst was behind you, blah, blah, blah. I just saw 2929 on the counter, which is 1111, ha, 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 which is great. Keep your thoughts and your emotions clear in check and of high vibration because you are in, 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 in you are indeed creating your reality here. Um, but the Ten of Swords in reverse is now 
yes, the, the situation completed before, but now you're really able to release it, to let go of it because you're learning your lesson and you're dealing with things differently, okay? Next, actually, I don't want to do that yet. What I want to go next to is the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands has the Eight of Cups and the Nine of Swords on it. There is a bit of hastiness here. Um, the Knight of Wands is very restless, okay? Very restless and also can be quite reckless, okay? It, 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 his, his sense of recklessness is similar to that of the Knight of Swords. However, I feel the Knight of Wands is, can be, is potentially a bit more innocent in his or her recklessness. Maybe a little clueless. The Knight of Swords is different. That seems a lot more deliberate, direct, and conscious. The Knight of Wands, to me, can be much more innocent, much more clueless. Now, it doesn't have to be, though. The Knight of Wands can be incredibly intelligent and can be very calculated, too, and, you know, and, and know exactly what they're doing. But I say all that to say there's a bit of hastiness here. I feel like someone is wondering if they should walk away from this situation. Maybe potentially because it's not going as fast as they may want it to, or it's not developing in the way they think it should or the way they want it to right now. Um, mm -hmm. There also could be a question here of whether or not someone is just like a fuckboy. <laughs> But I think you need more time. The biggest thing here, what I got, the biggest thing that I got here was wondering if you should walk away from a situation. Give it more time, okay? Looky here, you have, and, and this is why I wanted to go to this last. On this Four of Cups, you have the Chariot and Judgment. Now, the Chariot and the Eight of Wands energy are very similar. I do I do often see the Eight of Wands as like a minor arcana version of the Chariot here because it's such swift movement. But the Chariot also talks about emotional balance, okay? Bringing yourself into balance, um, balancing and integrating your light and your dark in order to allow that place of emotional stability Yes, with the Four of Cups, emotional stability to drive you forward f way faster than you could if you were not in balance. Obvi, but still. And with that, you have judgment. First of all, for those of you that are questioning some things, whether you should move on, whether you should continue with this situation, Coming into a, ba a place of emotional balance and being centered will help you make some sort of decision. But also what I'm getting with this is that you are being led on the right path. It's almost like this energy of the star. And in the sense of when the star happens, it's right after the tower energy has struck it, stricken, whatever and everything has crumbled around you and all you see is just complete darkness. But in that darkness, there's that one speck of light, as, which is the star, that is leading you in a direction. You don't know how you're gonna get there, you don't know when you're gonna get there, but you know that you just have to follow that star. This is a similar energy here between the chariot and judgment judgment is basically the universe saying to you okay this is what you want awesome follow me so in terms of that you're on the right path there and then underneath the deck here you have the three of pentacles this is a teamwork type energy i'm hearing it's a union energy but this would be a union in the self this is a self mastery type of union energy you also could be dealing with a coworker. Um, you could be an entrepreneur. This really could be like a creative project, an independent creative project that you're doing, working on for yourself. And all that good stuff. Okay. I'm going to leave it there. 
And I'm going to move on to close out the reading with the Oracle Guidance. And I'm going to use the Crystal Mandala deck. That just really, I've been using this deck a lot um, lately. I've been using it for the monthly zodiacs. Oh, by the way, I still have to do the last two, Pisces and Aries. That's going to happen. It may not happen until Friday, however, but it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah. But the Crystal Mandala deck right now, it just feels like it'll be perfect to really shed some keen advice on this situation here. All right. Here we go, guys. Closing message for today, Thursday, May 2nd. Best message, please, Spirit. Or, oh, oh, okay, there are two. Spirit of the Guru Mother and Tiger Spirit Rises. It's so crazy. I often get the same cards. It's weird. Okay, we're gonna t we're gonna look at card number thirteen first. Tiger spirit rises. We bring you the gift of the tiger spirit rising. You are being empowered with a truth more potent than fear. Your spirit is rapidly expanding beyond what opinion and logic can contain. It needs to be free to run wild with divine grace in the world. Your life, your destiny, your divine fulfillment requires that you have the courage to roar for love, to refuse to be put down, to respect yourself, and to let your untamed loving heart be free. Your spirit creates a field of divine electricity through your body and mind that can liberate others from conformity and social conditioning, allowing them to break away from systems based in control and fear. As your tiger spirit rises, you excite and empower the tiger spirit in others to rise above conditioning as they discover the wild divine spirit being they are in truth. Mm. And then finally you have card number 52. Spirit of the Guru Mother. Um, card 13 was Archangel Ad Adnashio and Tiger's Eye. And then 52 is Goddess Durga and Hematite. So Spirit of the Guru Mother. Yeah, and this actually, this card is definitely speaking to the swiftness uh, of, how, of, of how fast this situation really is moving for you. Um, you can also see this within the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is, um, oh, the Eight of Wands is often, is a Sagittarius, is, 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 excuse me, is considered a Sagittarian energy. Um, and it is often depicted as an archer uh, shooting an arrow, right? So it can talk about accuracy, um, aim, speed and all that so that I, I really feel like this is corroborating the spear of the guru mother here is con confirming that energy we bring you the empowerment of spear of the guru mother sometimes there is so much choice that we struggle to commit it is often not an issue of unwillingness to make an effort but concern that the choice might not be the quote right choice we might pray to the universe to be shown what to do according to a wisdom greater than our own Although our free will is always in place, we are able to accept a task given or reject it. The universe answers every prayer. In your heart, you have been asking for guidance to be shown what you need to do in a particular situation or perhaps more generally in your life at this time. You want to know the best way forward so your actions are in alignment with heaven. In response, you have now become the spear of the guru mother. I think I want to read a little bit more about this. The Spear of the Guru Mother is the direct, focused, and clear task given to you by the fiercely compassionate Divine Feminine. The Guru Mother is the unconditionality, I'm sorry, unconditionally loving guide who will protect your soul, keeping you on the straight and narrow, spiritually speaking, and ensure that your efforts bring you the best spiritual results and not lead you off a distracting and ultimately unnecessary tangent. This oracle also comes to you with this understanding. If the divine gives you a, a task, you can handle it. 
even if you are going to need to grow, you have it within to complete it successfully. When the universe gives you an opportunity or a life situation to work through, it is giving you a vote of confidence. The Divine Mother says to you, here is my will. I'll empower you. Now go for it. If you want to take her advice, don't hesitate or doubt. Be as focused and forward moving as if you were the spear that she had thrown with her almighty hand and flawless aim, heading straight towards the center of the target. When the, when the oracle of spear of the guru mother comes to you, you are being told your efforts have divine power behind them. The situations in your life you are willing to grapple with are going to resolve far more quickly and potently than you might have believed possible. The power of your own efforts, amplified with divine will, creates extraordinary movement. Distraction, procrastination, and hesitation shall not touch you. Your focus will be complete, and your task shall be attained. The trust you feel in yourself and the divine will increase because of this. You will gain more confidence in yourself. You'll become game for bigger and bolder challenges. The universe will be able to ask more of you and give you... and give you more because you shall be increasingly open to it. The risk you take at this time with absolute intention will bring you so much more than resolution of the task at hand. Alrighty guys, so there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Don't forget we do have ha happy hour tonight. If you would like to get on the list, the floor is officially open. Yes, I hope you guys have a great day. And I look forward to connecting with you again very soon, either tonight or tomorrow for our next cup of coffee. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.